Stacker on a journey to find silver. International Stacker. Unboxing bacon? Wait, I thought this was a silver stacking channel. It is, don't worry. As all of you know, I'm the International Stacker. And uh, I'm eating some breakfast while I'm, I'm uh, doing this unboxing. And um, I work overseas in Saudi Arabia where bacon is illegal. So let me take a bite of this. Delicious. And I'm gonna wipe my hands off. I know all of you are screaming, there's oil in your hands. Oh, you're gonna get the bacon grease on the silver. Do not worry, my hands are now clean. Let's proceed with this mystery unboxing. I uh, don't remember where this order is from. So let's get into it and see what I can find. It might be at Mex. Yeah, I think it's at Mex because it feels like it's attached. Thank you. It feels like it's attached into the box. And I noticed from videos I used or I have watched is at Mex is famous for doing that. Yeah, I think this is at Mex. So this would be my first. At Mix unboxing on video. As you all know, I've been stacking for almost a year at this point. Whoops. For almost a year at this point, and uh, but these I'm making my first videos now because I'm overseas, so I'm shipping this all to my parents' house. So usually I have my dad unbox it and tell me what's inside, but I had him hold off for a little bit because I knew I was coming to town. So let's get the invoice out of here. Oh, that wasn't the invoice. The invoice. Invoice. That's the invoice. So they gave me some post-it notes, paper. I've been seeing these lately. I got a little advertisement for the African Wildlife Series. Yeah, this is definitely Atmex. 401k into precious metals that you can't legally store with yourself. No, thank you. So I don't know if you know that, but uh, for IRAs. You can't store your own metal if you have metals in your... Now, I might be wrong. I'm not an expert on that, but from my research, that's what I found out. So, if I'm wrong on that, please correct me in the comments below. I'm by no means a financial advisor, but to the best of my understanding, to have anything in an RA, you uh, can't physically have control over it. So, what is all this, you ask? Well, I bought a bunch of different things. They had some of the random years for the um, Britannias. So I got some of those, let's see what I got. Uh, let's say on top, no it doesn't say. Okay, I have to put my glove on so I can just pop these out real quick and see what year it is. So when I get these random years, I do it when it's a good price, it's a good sale on them, which it was for this, 2015. And my plan is if I ever have coins that are worth a decent more premium, I'll just sell them and then stack some more silver. Things like Silver Eagles, generic silver, 2015. So all in all, I got all 2015s, two 2016s. Now, I did get these at the same price as the 2016, so I mean, I can't complain too much, but I can complain a little because it definitely said random year, and there's nothing random about every single one being 2015, yeah, or 2016. So I got one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty of those. Um, I got some other cool things here. These are actually poured silver. I'll take these out of the... This is some silver having. It's a uh, quarter ounce. Square. 999 silver. And this is from the... Sons of Liberty Mint. Sons of Liberty Mint. So I got four of those. I believe I got four. To make an ounce. So let me get these out for you. Show them to you. These are 
poured, right? Yeah, these are poured. And on the package it says like nice luster, but honestly I don't like saying the word luster. So that's probably the only time you'll ever hear it on my channel. For some reason I just don't like the word luster. So anyways, there you go. Nice little addition of an ounce there, some poured silver. Okay, let's keep moving on. Ah, some of my MK bars. Now, I found MK bars best pricing is either gonna be on Provident or Atmex usually, but Atmex tends to have a little bit more, um, a little bit more, uh, you know, a lot more choices, a, a little bit different variety. So these were actually new on Provident, or on Atmex. So, right. oh yeah, I forgot about this. Limited edition. Look at that bad boy. This one, three ounces, 999 silver. Number 228 of 500. Limited edition MK bars. Oh, this is the one I really wanted. It's not limited edition, but it's one troy ounce. Look at that. And Silver Slacker, I know I talk about Silver Slacker all the time, but he's the one that put me on to MK Bars. And from MK Bars, the only stuff I like to get is the pirate stuff. I don't like to get all of the other stuff. So if it has to do with pirates, I'm all about it. So here's some more of the round rounds. Instead of the squares, it's a similar design to the squares, but they're on rounds, which I, I like that. One ounce. Another one ounce round. I'm sorry, these were one ounce. Another one ounce pirate round. Imagine these, you're like a pirate back in the day. It's amazing. Okay, last two coins. Oh, it's a uh, random year libertard. So let's see what year I got. So these are from Mexico. For those of you who don't know, Mexico, which we're close to, being in California. 2016. How many pesos is this? Estados Unidos Mexicanos. How many pesos? Huh. It does not have. I thought this was a. It's definitely a Libertard. I'm pretty sure it's a sovereign. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be worse with them. I'm just not sure how much. What year is this? 2016. I just got corrected. It's Libertad. Libertad. Stands for Liberty, I believe. Two of those. Anyways, that was kind of a long unboxing, so uh, thank you all for joining me. I grabbed myself some more uh, bacon, or what I like to call is freedom. <laughs> Take a little bite. Commit a Saudi felony. I'll be with you all later. International Stacker. See you all later. Thanks. Bye. Bye.